class of 2019, um, and I have one more semester left at the University of Pennsylvania. Um, I am studying sociology um, and urban education. I went to Penn thinking I would be um, studying environmental science and uh, economics, um, which I laugh right now just because I took my first econ class freshman year and I was like, you know what, I respect everyone who does this, but it's just not for me. Um, so yeah, and at the end of freshman year was actually when COVID hit, so I still didn't really know what was happening with my life just because there were a lot of other bigger things happening. Um, and I actually took a year off from school, so during 2020 to 2021. I took a year off, um, and during that year off, I went on a three-month bike trip across the United States, um, and that was actually like a very transformative experience for me. Um, and it kind of brought me back to my true interests in in basically any situation I've ever been in. Is just like how do people interact? How do we make systems work? Um, how do we make our society better for everyone? Um, and so I was like, when I go back to Penn, I want to actually learn more about this. Um, and so that's why I actually changed over to sociology and um, I'm very interested in education. Um, so that's where my like education minor has been. And it's been a really, really rewarding uh, time since I, I made that switch. When I came back from my year off, I actually joined this group called the West Philadelphia Tutoring Project. It's a volunteer group that's been around since like the late 80s. It's like a group that connects Penn students with West Philadelphia K through 12 students and we tutor them for like an hour, about an hour and a half every week. Actually, I'm wearing my sweatshirt right now. That's our logo. Um, so I really enjoyed the tutoring and I actually got on board um, and I've been a leader um, for I guess the past two years in that group and actually this semester I got to um, be the, the chair. I'm, I'm one of the two chairs that leads this group and we're responsible for almost 400 people. <laughs> so it's kind of a really big um, responsibility um, because we have 200 tutors and 200 um, two T's and their families from West Philadelphia. Um, and it's been an incredible, incredible group to work with. So unfortunately, Penn does not have a undergraduate teaching degree. Um, so I actually have to go get my master's. So the plan for right now is um, I wanna go to a teaching residency program. The one that I'm looking at right now is in Boston. So maybe I'll be in Boston, we'll see. Um, and it's a one year master's program. Um, and then afterwards I would teach. I kind of hope to actually be more into education policy down the line, but I think first I need to actually understand what it's like being in the classroom as a teacher. Um, so that's my five to ten year plan is kind of get my graduate degree, teach, and then maybe go back to school for policy and then go from there. I'm sure in five to ten years I'll be a very different person than I am right now. And so I'll probably make a better decision about my future at that point. It was, it was, it was great because I actually got, got to be part of the community and it was so set up for people to be interested in other people. And that's what I love about DeSales. I really do like the community aspect. Um, I think it's, I've really grown to appreciate it much more. And that's one of the reasons why I actually wanted my brother to go to DeSales was because I knew that there would be a solid community and at the end of the day, that's what really matters.